I am a leader, one of the older guys of that DB room. And just them seeing me down or seeing me out of it, I felt like wouldn't have went the right way. So I just try to keep my composure, keep them up, and handle my business. John Cordiano said he like met with all the DBs the yeah. next day. What was your guys' conversation? Just basically keep my head up. And like I said, he reiterated, like, I am a leader, and that we're going to need each and every piece this whole season. So I just really took that into account. It's not bad, but... Josh, would the younger Proc have reacted the same way to what happened last week? <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. Just I feel I am more mature now since after that injury. I take a lot of things into accountability and thinking those things instead of just reacting straight off the bat. So, yeah. When did it I'm sorry to keep the labor in the clock, but okay. did it surprise you? It was just the one play and then the rest of the night was, like, gone. I mean... Um, it definitely did a little bit, but like I said, like when your play is called, that's one thing we all live on in the Woody. When your name's called, make the play when it's time. And that was really just what I took away from that. Like I didn't make the play. When when did you know you were starting tonight or today? Uh, Early in the week? I mean, was uh, it up for grabs, did you feel? I just tried not to get so caught up in that. Just try to play my game yeah. and make sure I'm focused and ready to go if I do get to start. And whether I get in the game or not, like I just wanted to make sure I was ready to go. So, so when, I really didn't yeah. think too much into it. So when did you – did somebody call your name? I mean, when, when did you actually know you're on the field first first series? Um, just walking out there. Walking out there? Either they, let you, they let you walk out there or yeah. you're off. So. Yeah. <laughs> hey, John, like, like, like Austin just asked you, though, you know, younger Proctor, how would he have handled this? But uh, – what do you just what do you just feel about this defense right now leaving as a leader of this defense, but also of what y'all have asserted the first two games, I guess. I mean you held this team out of the end zone. I feel the energy, excitement. Uh, we wanna dominate. That's our mindset. Yeah. We wanna dominate everybody in front of us, everybody we play. So that's what we try to do each and every draw. Yeah. Energy, different parts of the game. They are a lot more mentally into the aspects of football more than the X's and O's. So you learn a lot from those guys. And it's not just on the field, it's off the field also. Does starting matter with the depth that you guys have at safety? I mean, just being out there that first play, obviously you can get in later. Yeah. Does that matter to, to you, to the other guys? To be honest, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Like I said, we need each and every piece. We know we all bring different aspects into the game. So as long as we're behind each other and focus on what we need to do, I think we'll all come out on top of where we want to be. Well, just as a human being, you know, when things don't go exactly of plan in that opener, you do want another shot to, to fix oh, the definitely. record, right? You know oh, what I'm definitely. saying? Uh, this is like today. I took today as my second shot. Yeah. I didn't get it the first week, so I just came out, played with my heart, yeah. try not to get overwhelmed, try to calm myself down and just play football. Josh, Josh.